Many of us perceive humans and animals as somewhat distinct, yet the reality is that we are interconnected. Humans belong to the animal kingdom, although some of us can be a bit conceited. Nevertheless, there are those among us who hold animals in higher esteem than the majority and even establish wonderful connections with them. Number seven, Penguin reunites with his best human friend. Back in 2011, a little penguin was caught in an oil spill in the waters off the Brazilian coast near Rio de Janeiro. The bird then found his way to land and would be discovered by a man in his backyard at the edge of the beach. The penguin was completely coated in oil and could hardly move when rescued. His 71-year-old rescuer cleaned the bird's feathers and took care of him for the days that followed, feeding the penguin sardines and keeping watch over him as he recovered. He would name the little bird Dindon. When Dindon was strong enough, the man took him to a nearby island where penguins are known to be and then tried to release him. It was later that same day that the man would be surprised to hear a squeaking noise in his yard and discovered that Dindum had actually returned and was calling out for him. This is the terrible trouble once you've named a penguin. You just have to keep it. That's the rule. So, the penguin would stay and live in the guy's garden for a few months until it eventually ran off and it did whatever penguins do. But then it came back and continues to come back every year, returning in June and staying until February like an old friend that's been sleeping on your couch for three months. It's only cuter though. Number six, Pelican learns to fish with his human friend. When a baby Pelican appeared at Gray Stroke Mahal Camp in Tanzania, it was in a terrible state. The little animal had somehow wound up all alone and lost at least 100 miles from the nearest known flock of Pelicans. That little guy's GPS must have had a major malfunction but I hope he kept the receipt. How in the world that he got there remains a proper mystery, as the baby pelican was unable to either fly or fish. So that's when camp manager Jeffrey decided to take the little fella under his wing and show him the ropes, so to speak. But how do you teach a bird to be a bird? Well, especially when you're a bona fide human being and not have a feather in sight. Well, where there's a bill, there's a way, or in this case, there was a Jeffrey, and he would spend long hours with the pelican running up and down the beach, flapping his arms, and honestly, it's pretty adorable. Eventually, the bird, who by now had grown and was given the name Big Bird, got the hang of the flapping thing. So Jeffrey also had to teach Big Bird to fish, and in the same dedicated way, took the pelican out every day on a sea kayak for fishing lessons. Now, Big Bird has the skills that he needs in order to survive in the wild, but he doesn't seem to have that keen insight to actually leave and spends all of his time hanging around with guests who visit the camp and show him with attention until he presents them with a huge bill that is. Number five, incredible family that lives with a bear. Now I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this is really not a sensible choice of roommate. Even if you are very brave and have a huge house, at seven feet tall and over 290 pounds, Step in the bear is no shrinking violet. This colossal 23-year-old Russian bear does not spend his days roaming the forests. No, he watches television, he eats dinner around the table, and is generally treated like one of the family by his owners. The owners are proud, even if slightly mad, and they adopted him when he was only three months old. I should imagine that he was ever so slightly smaller back then and it probably seemed like a good idea at the step in about as tame as you could hope for with a massive wild animal. Perhaps he doesn't even really know that he's a bear in the first place. Luckily though, the owners have decided that they have no fear of death and are more than happy to snuggle up with their furry friend to watch television every night. You know, at least that saves on heating bills. Number four, one man, his rescue cat, and a bike ride around the globe. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem as though the cat is actually riding the bicycle, which is a shame and leaves me incredibly disappointed. I mean, who wouldn't want to see that? But anyhow, this is a super heartwarming story of a very lucky kitten, a guy, and a push bike on an epic journey around the world. All kinds of people set off for voyages of self-discovery or fundraising hikes around the globe. But even with all of the goodwill and enthusiasm that was available, the road can be a lonely place. Dean Nicholson from Scotland would set off on a round-the-world bicycle ride with the noble goal of finding out as much as he could about the world and its woes. He was three months into his mighty jaunt when he hit the ocean and realized he couldn't get to America. And that's when he would be on the road between Montenegro and Bosnia 
and discovered a tiny little abandoned kitten. Now you can call me a softy, but nobody could just leave a sad little lost kitty all alone, could they? Dean did exactly what you would expect, popped the poor, bedraggled puss on his bicycle, and then took her to the vet. That's when he had a cat, and he still had a bike ride to finish. So, you know, off they went. Now named Nala, the little kitten became Dean's permapal, and no doubt went down fairly well with the people they met along the way I just wonder where they're riding right meow. Number 3. Monster Croc is a family pet. In West Java, Indonesia, a family lives with a very unusual animal in their backyard. Kojek is a crocodile, and he's certainly no many he weighs at a chunky 200 kilos, measuring 6 feet long. He was rescued from certain death when he was just 30 centimeters, but the crocodile keeps on growing. His owner, Erwin, is pretty relaxed about the giant reptile in his garden, sharing his home with Kojek for the past 20 years. His children have grown up playing beside the massive croc, and he's fed a diet of fresh fish and has a pool in the yard to cool off in. Erwin brushes the crocodile's teeth every week to keep that trademark crocodile grin minty fresh. And although Kojek is mostly not an apparent danger to the people he shares a home with, cats can be a quite different matter. Word of warning, if you do live next to this crocodile-loving crew, don't let your cat go off into their yard. Kojek has been known to use those pearly white teeth to munch on the odd passing kitty. Number 2. Four-year-old returns home with an unexpected new friend, a baby deer. While vacationing in the Shenandoah National Park in Virginia, a little boy named Dominic would bring home an unusual guest. Now quite why a four-year-old was out roaming the forest in search of new friends all by itself is a question for another day in Child Protective Services, but usually when you're a kid out playing and you're really excited hanging around with your friends that you don't want to stop playing, even though you have to go home for tea, you might drag your friends back with you. Your mom would likely say that they could stay for tea and then you could carry on your wholesome game without skipping a beat. But when your new buddy is a Bambi, just what have you got in the cupboards to feed them? Dominic's mom was indeed pretty surprised when her son rocked up on the porch looking super pleased to have made this new friend. The deer had happily followed the little boy all the way home, and Dominic named his new friend Flash. Does that mean you have to keep it since you named it? Number 1. Russian man owns a lioness as a pet to herd sheep. This whole story is really quite strange. A sheep farmer was given Masha, the lion, as a gift when she was still a cub. Now, apart from being a strange gift, you may be aware that a lion is also fairly dangerous, with some species specific requirements. I'm not really sure how much I would appreciate unwrapping a flipping lion on my birthday. However, it does take all sorts. The shepherd was understandably a bit puzzled about what to do with the baby lion, so he did what any of us would do. He popped her in with his lambs. I mean, what harm could that be, really? It turns out that I need to be a little less judgy, because Masha not only was very well behaved amongst a bunch of helpless little sheep, she actually bonded with them. As time would go on, the lioness took over the job of guardian and sheepdog. Well, in this case, sheep lion. Her watchful presence seems to keep the sheep safe, and there have been no predator attacks since she's been in charge. The lion is definitely keeping the wolf from the door. And now, after all this, I have a warm and fuzzy feeling inside. Don't you? Have you ever formed a unique friendship with a different species? Share your experience in the comments section. Don't forget to explore the other interesting content on the screen. Catch you in the next video.